Hey Benny, and today I'm going to be doing a Star Wars Rise Skywalker review 2019. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen any Star Wars film, do not watch this video. Um, but if you haven't seen it, let's continue with it. So, I cannot believe I'll be doing my Star Wars review. I am so excited. So, this is the Star, Star Wars Rise Skywalker, and this is 2 hours 21 minutes. This came out on the 30th 2019. And I watched it with my mum at 8.15pm. So this is like 2 hours, 21 minutes, as I said before. So before I show it to you, this is um, one, of my, one of my, one of mine that my friend got me, this is Ray. So, see, we're cute. <laughs> so yeah, this is the one that they have. Okay, so part one, I'm going to be talking about the cast. So the cast we have is Adam Driver, so he plays Kylo Ren. we got... Daisy Ridley, who plays Rey. We've got Mark Hamill, who plays Luke Skywalker. We've Carrie Fisher, who plays Leia. We have John Baker, who plays Finn. We have Oscar Isaac, who plays Poe. Naomi Aki, I think she plays Janna. You've got Donald Gleason, who plays um, General Hox. Richard E. Grant, who plays the leader, I forgot his name. And Lupita Nyong'o is one of the orders in Leia's soldiers. So. In the beginning, we're going to start with the episode. And you know, in every Star Wars, they say episode this and explain about everything. And after that, we do see Kylo Ren fighting the other guys. And we see him um, just fighting with his lightsaber. And oh my god, I want Kylo Ren's lightsaber. I really do, because I think it's so cool. And yeah. Uh, I'm wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. And in the back, we got... Ooh, but I'm not in. You can see it. You can see it. Yeah. That's all the handwriting I have is just basically I got this top. Anyway, so continue. So in this beginning, we see Kylo Ren going to find the finder. And he goes to Exegol. And then when he finds everyone, he goes to check with Palpatine. So Palpatine, if you guys remember Palpatine, he's the evil master. And, you know, he explains that he lived and everything. And, of course, everyone thought that he died, but he wasn't. So Palpatine then talks to Kylo Ren saying about Rey. And he says that, oh, he tells her what she is and he starts to laugh. Sorry guys, you just can see I've written this down. Okay. After that, we then go see in a scenario where Finn, Poe and Chewie, I mean Chewbacca, <laughs> I said Chewie because that's what it is. They retrieve information from Kadaren, from the, from the path, discovery of poverty and discovery. So then they find out the poverty is alive, so they find out and then... In this scenario, of course, the guys were like shooting them, pew, pew, you know, and I love the ship. I think they weren't the riding the Millennium Falcon that um, Han Solo ride with Chewbacca. <laughs> Han Solo, sorry. And so then after that, they, then Ray. Dis then after that, we see a scenario when Ray is um, she's doing a yoga thing and she's trying to think about something. And then Leia is always there looking at her to see what she's doing. She discovers some notes of Luke Skywalker, the Jedi notes. On a Sith that could lead him to Palpatine, but due to this, he couldn't do it because in the last episode, I mean, the last film, he died, so he couldn't do it. So she is there to do continue his journey. After that, then we see Ray, Poe, and Finn, C V three PO, and they all come back and they meet and greet, and they all went to contract Luke on Pasana. So they all they're all gonna meet up in Pasana, and of course, Leia was like, okay, we we can go. So then C V three PO and B B D, or R D D two, stays with Leia. For company while the others go with them to look for the Luke Skywalker text. So in Persona they're having this festival thing and then they're all greeting each other and everything. And after that they we need a see they they of course in this they have a dagger of course and then she get a dagger and of course they have to go to Persona to know about it. So then after they go to they need C three PO's information so they can retrieve it to understand what the dagger means. But he said to them that he can't even retrieve information. And that they need to go to someplace else to like go with his memory and just try to find it. So after that, when they go in there, they find a van and then inside you see if you see Lando. And I'm like, oh my god, Lando looks so young. Lando is oh that's again. This is Lando. He is the guy. Yeah, I forgot. So in this scenario we also see that um Lando was there, he was alive, and he tells they tell them about the place and he tells them that that they need to um, go to some place to find this um, information. And after that,
Sorry guys, let me just see something here if I'm doing it right. Okay. Sorry guys, let me just play one minute, just trace this up right there. Okay, so in part two, I say in part two because of a thing. So then they all, they, of course, they get stuck on the island and they get found by quicksand. So with the gang, Ray, Poe, and Chewie, Baka, and C3PO, and BB-8, they also get sucked into the thing. And in this, they look for a way out, and then they see a monster. But then what Ray does, she uses her powers, one of her powers, and she uses them to calm him down. And then they said that they need to, um, they ask C3PO, can we please use your mind? He's like, I can't do it. So then after they go up, and they find a way to go up, after that, um, Ray rescues them and they get up. And then after that, that's when Kylo Ren says that Ray is closer. So he goes to the ship to find Ray. And when he finds Ray, um, he he basically goes to her. Sorry, guys. I'm my head thing. Okay, so then I caught off this when he and then the group was like, "Oh, we have to go find a ship." So they find a ship, and not the Millennium Falcon. So they find a the ship and then they're like, oh, and Ray was saying to them, oh, I'll stay here because I want to stay here. I don't want to go out. So after that, then he asked Chewie to look for Chewie to get Ray back. And when he was asking Ray, he found something weird that Chewie and Ray were not coming back. So then after that, they went to find them. And then you just see Ray and Kylo. And when she jumps over the ship, I feel that was just such a cool moment, like literally such a cool moment. So I was like, you know what, I'll do that. He did that. Then after that, um, we see Chewie in the ship being arrested and then because that's what they saw and then you see the Kylo Ren find out and what happened was that Finn and Poe trying to finish ship and when they are and then after that when they get killed by then Chewie gets killed by Ray by her lightning force and then of course they all escape and you know them being terrified knowing that Chewie's dead they got really sad about it and you know sad Poe then explains to the team to go to Kim Jin to have the Sith text to be translated from CPP in mind and of course they they find out that Ray is in danger so they have to meet up with Zoe Bliss so she's one of the characters so they explain that if they take out the memory so then after that they meet up and they said that oh they found them and of course they're like are you let's go to a safe place because in here we can't because stormtroopers are here and you know Kylo can come here in a minute so after that they explained that they have to take out his memory so he would forget everyone and he said he wants to do it so that's why they, they did it and they did what they did Ray then have a vision that she was alive and then you have to go rescue her the rain ship the rain ship thing which I forgot. So then after that Okay, then after that we then we see that Kylo Ren tells Ray that she's Palpatine's granddaughter and then the vision she saw her parents killed by the Ochi and then the parents held her in a jacket to keep her safe. So that's basically what happened to her. So him telling her she's a granddaughter of Palpatine, it was so shocking to be like to me it was shocking, I was like, what? I, I, I do see a bad, I do see, I see a good side of her and a bad side of her when she uses her powers, but she's still a good person. So after that, you know, when they see this, now we're going to part three. As they go to the way to resistance and the Chewie's mind's done and they know what's going to happen. Then they divided and Poe and Finn go to find Chewie while Ray goes to find Chewie's belongings and then the dagger. After that, they she talked to, to Kylo as they're going to escape. Chewie then was caught by General Hox and as they get killed him, he rescued them. And he says that he was a spy because in the last video, in the last scene, they were saying who was a spy, who, who was the spy. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning. So when they were going to the ship, he's, there was a spy and the spy was General Hux. And I didn't even know that. I was like, what? And, I, and then he was like, he wanted to kill Kylo Ren because he doesn't want him to be the leader. So he let them go, had a million Falcon. He's like, you can go. After that, they let them go. And then Kylo wants Ray to team up with him and kill Paul Bettin together and he can rule the throne, you know, because he wants he don't want to, he don't want to do what Paul Bettin asks. General uh, by seeing this then they go back to the ship and he they will go and then after this um General Hawk's been executed so he got killed and because they find out he's a spy and then the leader had exposure to Kim Jean and of course that's gonna explode the whole world. The group then go to Kev Biff when they go to see and they go with Finn, Poe and Chewie instead. To go to Kev Biff so they can find out about a dagger about what's happening with this um thing. Janna is one of the characters. Um I don't know if you can see her properly, but she's right here. 
right there. So she is the leader there and she tells them there's an island that leads them to the death of the star where they have to use a dagger to find a wayfinder. But she tells them that you can't go there now because it's very dangerous. But as Ray in her mind, she's curious, she would go there straight away. So Ray goes to the wayfinder and goes there to explore what Ray finds a vision of herself as a Sith. And you just see her dueling her and then you see Finn and Jana bonding and they're talking about how they were with a strong stormtrooper and talking about it all times. So she's kind of a good character, but I like her. Kylo finds her and destroys the Wayfinder and then he dues with Rey. And you can see them dueling a lot. And it was epic, like really epic. In part four, um, as Rey and Kylo fights, um, Le Le Leia, who is like older now, hearing them two fight, she starts to fall. So she's really weak and she calls Kylo to the force and Rey then appals Kylo by calling his name Ben. And of course, you know, Kylo's dead. Kylo got hurt, so of course he's dying. Finn and Jana find out about this, see them doing. She calls Rey to stop, but Rey backs them away by pushing to sense. And then she senses that Leia's deaf. I would say I liked it how they did that because in real life the one she died in real life Carrie Fisher rest in peace and I liked it how they made her die in a way that you know she was old and stuff like that like I liked that in a way so yeah let's move on before I start to tear it up <laughs> Ray then heals Kylo and takes the ship to Arctic to exile so of course in the scenario that Ray heals Kylo and in her mind she takes the ship to Arch to exile by her Sith power so by her, by her she just finds herself a bit like Tormented, like, why do I have the Sith powers? Why am I this evil? Why do I do this stuff? The other group then find out about Leia's death and they go back to find out about Rey and of course everyone's just devastated and like, I think Lando said one time, oh, I should go say, um, say hi to Leia and then he sees her in the, in the funeral, what they made and everyone's crying and is kind of sad in a way because she died and everyone's sad. So when Rey arrives, she burns the ship and the fire and starts to throw things and then she gets one of the lightsabers and when she throws it, someone gets it. Luke Skywalker. Ray then goes to Excel with Kylo's ship and Luke's trying to explain to her that you can use a lightsaber. So she kept the Luke cipher and she used the ship to go to um, to find the Palpatine and try to kill him. Kylo Ren, who is in Kev Bin Contact, who is in Kev Beef and you know he's hurt and everything, he's fine. He gets a contact with Han Solo and I think this is was the one of the most memorable thing ever. And when I saw Han Solo, I got really excited and crying. And then he throws a lightsaber as he's known as Ben Solo and he's known that he shouldn't be evil. And he was saying to him about father, he was saying father to him and son. And then the rest of the group goes back to see Leia. And of course, I said it before, it's really sad. And then Finn and Poe become general of relevance by Leia. And now the D2 being back, see if you can remember back and everyone's happy. Lando also visits her as well as I mentioned this to you. And then the rest of it said that they discussed the fight and they followed Ray's corner to Exegol because she put the coordinates for everyone to find. So of course everyone's gonna team up, like all the fours gonna team up to go find her and try and to defeat Palpatine. So part five, the last one. So as we're gonna see, they all join the group to kill Palpatine and the resistance and the resistance. So Ray then confronts Palpatine and then he tries to kill him to transfer to his spirit. So he wants her he wants her to kill him so then he can transfer her body to him so he she could be in the pot of the throne i've seen it she didn't want to do it but she had but like you know poverty is there she has to do something so i noticed something there but then battle with poverty in fleet ben then rides with the ship and gets the let saber and fights the other guys and kills them of course because ray had one lightsaber she gave one lightsaber another lightsaber to ray to ray Sorry, to Kylo, so she can so she can fight them. So when he fighted them, they were so cool. After that, Papa didn't use both their powers because he knew that both powers had like the force, and they take the force and they attack the fleet with the force through all the sky, and you can see all the ships all burned and everywhere. And I will say that is wow, that's massive. I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, what is actually going to happen? What is exactly gonna happen? So after that, with them, you see Ray being them, you know. Ray's hurt and then we can see Ben trying to struggle but then Poverty puts him away down the floor and basically we don't know if he's dead or not and then we just see Ray in the floor dead you know Ray hears the voice of the Jedi that sees him to strength telling her to get up and everything and she then Poverty attacks her force but he gets rescued by using two lightsabers to kill them and burn them 
Okay, so, uh, so sorry about that. So after she lifted up, she attacks, Porty attacks her force, but she uses her two lightsabers to kill him and burn all from everyone. She dies, so she basically uses her force and she basically uses her, all her strength and she dies from the force and lays down on the floor. But Ben helps her, Ray, by healing her back. And this is an emotional way. And then they both kiss. And I was like, okay, so they both kiss. It was so shocking. It was emotional. It was nice. And what happens is that he heals her powers so he could die, basically. He sacrificed himself for her. And then he disappeared. And I was like, okay. But I will be explaining about it in the end. I will be explaining about the ending, what I liked about it. So after this, we do see that she's alive. Then Lando and Chewie help to find other gang with the with the Minion Falcon. And then the rest of them destroy property and ships. So in this scenario, of course, we've seen that, you know, Jana and, and what's his name, Finn? Yeah, so Jana and Finn tried to get everything, tried to, like, escape, and they did everything. Then after that, everyone's safe and everyone's happy and even post happy. So Ray visits the town where Luke and Leia lived and they put the two... Okay, so before I mention that again. When they all come back to the, to the place where they went on the go, we do see them all hugging each other and being happy to each other. And I do sense that in this scenario that I think Finn wanted to tell her that he loved her or in a way I don't know because he always wanted to talk to her but she never talked to him. And after that, in the ending, we just see Ray visiting the town where Luke and Leia lived. And this, and he put the two lightsabers on the ground as he does, doesn't need it. And this is in Tatooine. So remember in the first Star Wars, you see the town and we can just see the house. And so she buried them. A local shopper tells her that who she is. And when she's about to say her name, she sees Luke and Leia ghost. And she says, Ray Skywalker. The end, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the end. Okay, now I'm going to see my thoughts. So, the thoughts about the film, I would say it was really emotional and good. A lot of people said that the review, the film was not good because people didn't like the ending and people didn't like it, like it was not that excitement. I enjoyed the film actually, I was really dreaming of it. I was really focusing when I was watching the movie, so I wasn't really like, really like, like bored. I was really like refocusing it. But I would say I did enjoy the movie and... I, I think I liked it. I'll give it out a 10 out of 10. I mean, it was good. It was memorial. I liked how they did how Le Leia's death. And I'll have to say, you know, Leia was such a good, like, Carrie Fisher was such a good actress. And with her death, it was really hard for people. And for people who just understand that she died, it was not, not nice. Mm -hmm. One of the best scenes I like is probably when um, Kylo and Rey are sh ribbing the ship and going down. I think that's the best scene ever. The best scene would probably be... Another scene I would like is when they're doing together in the ship. And the first scene I would like is when he's in the ship and she just flies over the ship. That's the best thing ever. The worst thing ever, I would have to say, is probably the ending. Because a lot of people said the ending was not good because of Kylo Ren's death. I did not like I didn't like the I didn't like I didn't like that he died. And I get that she sacrificed to you know to try to live, but I kinda want him to live. And it was so sad, like he just disappeared, like really weird. Like I was like bloody end game I don't know when they went went got the gone at this and he just disappeared like that it was just like that and I was like that's just like so sad but I'll say the ending to me I didn't like it but I understand why he did it for her I think he did it because you know he liked her and yeah it was just sad it was really really sad but throughout the film it was really good and the guy's a good actor and pops to everyone who did it amazing a spoiler, I'll say to you guys that Billy Lude was in the movie, so she is one of the daughter of Carrie Fisher, so no one honest, no one know who she is, but she is one of the, the, the family members of um, Carrie Fisher. And that's basically it, guys. And that's all my review, guys, for you, me. Thank you. Um, I will say to you that I did enjoy the movie. It did get me emotional. I did cry. I loved it. It was some funny parts that I loved, like with C-3PO and BB-8. They're really funny together. I liked it how they, they had like the Han Solo and Luke Skywalker and Han and, and Princess Leia back. Like literally they, they put Han Solo, like, even though he, he was deaf, they put him back. And I, lo I, I would love, what I want to say much is Han Solo seeing Chewie and that would be so cool. Like to see his, like see him as a person. Because I remember when um, 
I didn't mention before, but when Chewie found out Leia died, he did cry and it was really sad because he knew her for a long time. So I wish that he could see him, but it was a good film. Okay guys, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down what you think. I will be doing my, um, I will be doing my, uh, how do you call it? My full book collection, but I will, I will take my time actually because um, I have a problem with my money. So I will be doing one soon, but I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. What you what do you like guys think about the um? Would you what do you guys think about the Star Wars? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I would like your opinions. You know. As you can see, I'm wearing my flower crown. I got this in Winter Wonderland on Saturday, and it's a cute flower crown. So yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna go now. Bye. bye. My Instagram and Snapchat will be down below, okay? Bye.